This is UPDF, a sleek, powerful and affordable PDF editor that works on all your devices. If you're tired of clunky, overpriced tools that make simple tasks frustrating, this might be your upgrade. And here's the big news, UPDF 2.0 is here with a fresh interface and some seriously useful new features. Plus, it supports all platforms, including Windows, Mac, iOS and Android across devices with one account usable on four devices. Quick note, this video is sponsored by UPDF, but as always, I will give you my honest opinion. Whether you're editing contracts, highlighting notes or just want PDF tools that actually make sense, UPDF has you covered, even with built-in AI supporting ChatGPT and DeepSeek. So I would say, let's see what it can really do. All right, as you can see, we are now on my Mac. And the first thing is I'm going to the UPDF website and downloading here the version 2.0. So this is the newest version here and install it afterwards. Okay, perfect. It's installed now and I have it here now in my bar. So you can see UPDF, this new logo, and let's click it. All right, so I would say let's dive right in. So first of all, you can see the design is very modern. So not a lot of menu items. I really like this because it's very user friendly. When you look at the bottom here, you have three points. So when you click the tool button, you can immediately see that you have a reader. So you can just use it as a reader. You can edit your PDFs and you can compare your PDFs. Then you have sub points here. Create PDF includes also create a blank PDF. ID card, yes, so you can scan in your ID card. And the last point is you have a scanner and you can combine this with other cool functions here. So the next menu point is batch PDF. So you can use it to convert any Word, PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft format to a PDF and the other way around. You can merge also documents. So the next point is OCR. So you can use your scanner to scan a document and it's a picture and OCR will detect your text and will transform it to editable text. So this is a really cool feature. Then you can compress your PDF to make it smaller. That's also a very handy feature. And you can print it out. You can create a new one. You can add a watermark. I will show this later to you. And then you can also modify a header and a footer. It's the same on every single page you use. Then you have base numbering. You can insert pages. You can modify your background, add a color or a picture, and you can encrypt it. So protect it with a password and you can remove pages. So very useful features here in this section, but I would say let's jump right in and open a PDF I've already prepared. So you can do this by open file or alternatively, you can simply drag and drop it. So I have here a form. I will drag and drop it to my application. Let's make it larger again. And as you can see, you have here an application form to apply to the University of Mystical Arts. But as you can see, the pictures and the feather and here this logo overlap the text. And also, I don't like this overview. Normally, this should be a form, but it is not. So I have to modify this document. The cool thing is here now you have always your main function at the top. So you can comment it, you can edit it, you can add a form element and you can redact it. OK, so let's continue. I would say let's edit it first. So I go to the edit button here in the top. And then I want to move the image around. So first of all, I will click on image and now the image function is activated. I don't like the feather here in the top. I just drag and drop it to here and also the size is too big. So I will reduce the file size. Yes, I think it's fine. And I put it here on this side. Also, this logo should be on the top and smaller. So I click it. I reduce the file size and I will move it up to the top. That's really great. I also think this text is not the right one, so I don't like this font. I will change this, so I will go to text and then I will go to this text field and select the headline. I will go from this font to the other one. So I will say, let's go to Apple Gothic and it changes immediately the font family here. And I can also say for sure, I can also set the font size. I can also do the alignment here, say I want to have it bold. So let's give it bold and also the sub headline. I think this font is not the right one. I really want a better one. Let's go with this one. All right. And this looks already awesome. So I will keep my personal header for this page 
Uh, the feather is also here and then I will continue with this part. As you can see, this is also text, so I can simply select all this text by clicking Command A. And I will also say I want to go with Apple Gothic here and yeah, I think maybe to reduce the font size a bit to 11. So I think we're good with that. And I also don't like this line, so I will get rid of some of them. And yeah, I assume this is cool because I want to put in here a text field to fill out the form. And we go here to spaces down. I will delete also those lines here. Yeah, I would say here we need some more breaks. Yeah, and here I want to add a list. Prefer title. You can also modify here the text. So I will say I don't want to have this in it here anymore. So wizard witch as an example is enough. And you can also add the link here. So we click on the link at the top and say we want to have a link here in an invisible rectangle. So I put it here and I say we want to link to web a link HTTPS www.updf.com. And I will say this is fine. And as you can see, you have here a direct link to UPDF. Good, then I would say let's continue with the next part. So for that, I don't need this menu items here. I simply click close and then I go to form because I want to enter here a form. So when I save it, someone should be able to enter simply their full magical name in that case. For that, we will select text field and we simply drag and drop a text field in our preferred size. Let's keep it longer because we all know magical names can be very long and we're good to go. Okay, then the next point is we really want to have not a checkbox, we want to have a radio button here that the applicant can choose one preferred magical title. So we'll go with the radio button. I will put one here. Then I will use the next one to put it here and everything should be in group one. The cool thing is, as you can see, also UPDF aligns it perfectly. And the fifth one is here. Okay, so, but we want also here names, but I'm not that creative that I can imagine which names I want to have here. So let's use AI for that. We go to the right corner here and I simply click UPDF AI. In that case, it opens a new window here. And here you have the possibility to say I want to chat with the PDF. So I'm now in the ask PDF function. So it's processing because it's analyzing the document and it immediately summarizes apparently the content. So this is really great. So I want to ask something differently. So I will go here and ask it. So and it immediately recognizes what I want and it suggests five titles. Okay, and we're still here in the form menu, so we'll close it, I will go to edit and we'll add the text because I will take a mixture of those preferred titles and the one the AI suggested. Maybe one more thing, in the top right section, you always have your possibility to do your standard functions like saving, printing, save as PDF, save to the UPDF cloud. And because saving is very important, that you will not lose any data. I will go to save to the UPDF cloud and I simply click on save. So my document will be uploaded to the cloud and you already see that I have here my form. So I simply click on that and I can continue working on it. In the comment section, there is a signature. So I say create signature. I will select here a photo and I've already prepared one. So I have here my Chris the Wiz signature and I open it. I can modify it here so I can say I want to make it smaller. Then I say I will crop it and this is my final signature. I will create it. And then you can see it's close to my mouse arrow here and I can simply click on the signature part and it adds the signature in its original size. So this is way too big. So I will simply reduce the size and then move it to the right place and boom, my document is signed with my signature. Perfect. So I think you got the point how to edit your documents. Maybe for some collaboration work, I will show you another point. So this is the comment section. So it's not really something new, but you can do here a lot of cool things. So you can say, I want to have a sticky note. I will put it, I don't know, here. And I will say, please check the 
the logo again. I am not sure. Color. Okay, I say done. And you have this when you do a mouse over. The other person who edit it will see. Oh, I have to check the color of this logo. Okay, that's great. Second step here, you can also say I want to have a pencil tool and I want to mark something. I would say mystical arts. Please have a look also at that. And you also can say, hey, I want to I want to highlight this mystical art. So I simply go here and select it and it's highlighted. And when I say I don't want to highlight it, I want to have another function here. So go to this tiny arrow, just click it and say I want to strike through it because I'm not quite sure if we should call it application. So simply go here and it's done. You can also say you want to have a rectangle here because you want to have here a line in between so i will do this here very briefly all right and the next step is i want to convert a word document to a pdf so i will simply drag and drop my background story of the arcane academy i've written to the updf window i release it and it immediately says create pdf and i say okay and immediately after granting access to this document i have my pdf okay so the next part is i want to merge two pdfs from my desktop. So I will go here and then it opens batch process. So I will edit files. So I want to combine my backstory with my blank form. I will open it and immediately it shows that I have two documents here. And then I say simply apply. We'll save it to the desktop. All right, and I want to show you now the batch document. For that, I will leave the batch process here. I will close it because I already did it. And the second step is I simply take my batch document here from the desktop and drag and drop it here. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. You have here your four pages in one PDF. The next thing is what's very, very easy is if you're not happy and you want to have the form on the next page or in another order here, I can say move the first page after the last one. And I can also do this with this second page. And now the backstory is on the first page and the form is on the last two pages. Okay, good. So uh, another cool feature I want to show you very briefly is to scan a document. So I will open my scanner. So I've already created, as you can see, an application. And now I will click here on perform OCR after creation. And my language of this letter is for sure English. And the cool thing is it will immediately analyze after scanning the real document, the text and Hopefully you will be able to edit it then right away. And it's done. I can say scan completed. It just, okay, this was fast. And here is my image. Here is my signature. So originally everything here was a picture, but it already checked the text. And as you can see, I can modify here everything. Okay, and because I'm a lazy person, I want to show you another cool thing. And as you can see, this is a lot of text. So there is a lot of yeah, descriptions here and I'm too lazy to read all through it. And I say, ah, please AI, click on the AI button. You have your chat with PDF. And yes, it immediately summarizes it, but it's too long anyway. So I would say, please summarize it. And here you have really a short summary of the whole text. Okay, and this was this AI ask PDF function, but you have even more. You have a chat function where you can use simply a chat and you can chat with um, the AI and it will provide you with answers. Then you have also the translate stuff. This is also really cool. Okay, the next one is PDF translation. It's a separate point here. You can see to want to have it translate in both languages. So I'm curious, I never did this before. Go to save document and okay. This is this, this this feature is really great. So it generates thumbnails for the translations and you can compare the English version with the German one. So that's incredible. I never saw this before. So I can imagine I will use this function very often. Okay, so and I would say that's basically it. But as promised, everything what's in the cloud can also be edited on your mobile device. So I would say let's try it out and switch briefly to the iPad. But as you can see, I'm here on my iPad and I've already my Apple Pencil Pro here. So that's really cool because I can use UPDF also with this Apple Pencil. So I click on it and immediately you can see here documents I've already uploaded via my Mac to the UPDF cloud. So first of all, I can open simply here the Kane Academy backstory. 
you've already seen this and then I can just use here the menu on the left side. So this will cover all the shortcuts you need to reduce the file size, organize pages. So you can do a lot here on this side and on the other side here. You can also use this pencil tool. Okay, here and with the pencil, you can align here the size of the highlight and here I can simply highlight one sentence or another point so you can highlight it. Okay, and after you did that, you can simply go to the next menu point and here you have also adding a text or a link or something like that. Okay, the next point, for example, is adding a watermark here. So I can say here, add watermark, okay? So I enter a text, so I will say, let's do magic, that's great. I set it to done and then I say, I want it a little bit smaller. Then I switch to ratio and I want to add more here. And as you can see, the whole page will be covered with watermarks, but I also need a lower opacity. So I lower it to, let's say 25%. Then you click on done. And as you can see, your document is full of a watermark. Okay, and now I want to remove it. So this is very easy. So you click again, edit watermark, and then you deselect it. So it's gone. You only have to click here and say delete. And then the watermark is gone and now one last thing you can also use ai here so we go to the right top corner we press this button here and you can see that it already has everything in it what we already did so there is the summary there is a shorter summary so everything is here and in that case i can also show you one additional feature this is the ai chat feature i go to chat this is using deep think by the way so that's really cool and you can here select different ways how you want to proceed with your document so in my case i will go to translate i will say i want to translate it to german because we're in austria here and the only thing what you have to do is to say which parts of the text you want to translate so i want to translate exactly this one so i copy this text i simply copy and paste it in here and as you can see it immediately translates the text to German. So that's really great. Okay, that was my look at UPDF 2.0 and honestly, I really liked it. It's easy to use, packed with features and here's the kicker, there's a lifetime version with free upgrades included and it's much cheaper than most other PDF editors out there. That alone makes it a great deal. And if you don't like it, there's even a 30 day money back guarantee. And I didn't run into any real issues during testing, except for one case where selecting an image didn't work in a certain mode, but that felt more like a user error. And once I got used to the interface, everything ran smoothly because the usability is also very great. Overall, it feels safer and more efficient than other tools I've used before. That's why I can really see this becoming my go-to PDF editor. You can get it now with an exclusive discount and use it across all your devices to edit and sync PDFs. Links are down in the description. If this was helpful, leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next one.